ETH, we start with one hour chart. Okay, first of all, if we refer to our analysis in my last video, okay, we mentioned we were looking, if we want to look for buy, you mentioned we could get a look for breakout, uh, I mean the breakout of this trend line, flag, then from there we can look for buy. But right now we want to see, we see we get this one. All right, now we want to see whether this one can give us one more drop and how deep it can go, whether the price can break the trend line or not, okay? In this case, we even if we move to for 15 minutes, we see the price broke, but we did, there was no trade setup, okay? Now, in this case, we move to higher time frame. As you can see, based on daily chart, now we, this is what we're looking for. We want to see whether there is a continuation with the breakout of the top or not, okay? Based on daily, we had nothing. In this case, we move to forward chart. And as we can see, based on forward chart, if we remove everything, after we get this move, we get in relative to each other, we get the next move with the breakout of the top. The only thing is after the price broke the top, if we put this one in relative to this, that's mean this two in relative to each other, we see we get the divergence. And as we can see, the prices start to drop. Now we wanna see whether this is a correction in relative to this for continuation or this one can turn to a deeper correction. If we put back everything, all right, now we look, this is what we're looking for. As we mentioned, whether this is a correction or still we can expect the price to drop and tag the trend line before continuation, okay? But the only thing is we don't want to price sharply break and give us a correction for one more drop. We wanna see this one turn to a deeper correction for continuation, okay? Because uh, still we are looking for this, all right? Now, in this case, if you move to one hour chart, as I mentioned, based on one hour chart, right now, I mean, we have been looking for the breakout of this trend line to look for buy. Right now, it's better remove this one, remove it. And now the thing is, this one can give us one more drop. If we get one more drop, the price at least break this low and take the trend line. Then any reversal from there, we look for buy with at least a sharp move with the flag with the breakout of this top. Okay, this is what we can say right now. Rather than that, we don't have any other option to look for trade and this is what we can see. And as I mentioned, I mean, as I mentioned, based on forward chart, we're looking for this for one more drop. Still, we can expect this one continue and break the top. That's mean we this one turn to a deeper correction before we get the next down move. Okay. By the way, is there any possibility the price reverse from here sharply? In that case, if it that does mean if the price didn't break this low, in that case. We the only way we can look for buy if the price sharply break this top, give a flag, then we see whether we can get the trade set off from there or not. Okay, but the best thing is this one give us one more drop, as I mentioned based on uh, one hour chart. All right. Anyway, right now with the only things is we're looking for this. We want to see how deep it can go, and and even there is a possibility this one can drop and break this trend line. But as long as the price haven't broke this low still we can consider whatever we're talking on I mean we can look for buy but if the price drop and broke this low which is 1719 then from there we need to see how we can look for the entire structure we see whether there is a changes or not okay anyway we just follow the chart if i see any update i will share thanks